Hello and welcome back to Geezer Gamers. Today we're playing some more Warm Snow. Go ahead and jump on in. I've been playing this game a lot off camera. Uh, I've gotten a couple more unlocks and things and uh, gotten to see some of what some of the bosses do. Alright, we get a Fiery Saltpeter common, unfortunately. Um, so we do get one random... Um, some things call them elixirs, some areas, I don't know, I, I just call them trinkets. Let's see... Deal two damage. Alright, we're gonna take, uh, we'll go here. Final blow melee attack just deals a bunch more damage. So, like, what do we got to have here? I don't, I don't think they do anything. Uh, I did unlock this additional shrine, but uh, I don't care for the abilities too, too much, so I'm just gonna go with my bread and butter here, Hidden Strike. Uh, instead of shooting flying swords on command, you now shoot a powerful flying sword to the front when you make a melee attack and increase your defense by 10%. I am terrible at this game, and so every bit of defense I find helps. And it saves me from having to micromanage my swords as much. I'm sure it's probably a little bit weaker um, than some things you could have, but it also lets me more or less one-shot a lot of these early, early guys. Alright, so here we can go with the um, like elite unit or with the money. We'll go with the elite unit. Usually drops a weapon. Every now and then I have seen it drop a uh, like a um, like a relic or whatever they're called. I did drop a weapon. Oh, and it is an epic. So all damage plus seven percent. We're obviously going to take it because it's better than our basic sword. Enemies with burning take bonus damage, a sh little bit of sheath cooldown. Rampage now takes effect on enemies with less than 60% HP, while King Hit takes effect on enemies with more than 80% HP. I'm assuming those are from um, like certain crystals or from certain sect skills, I'm not sure. Or certain sect skills. Honestly, not 100% sure on that. Uh, we'll go with the sect skill here, which is what the, the book is, the purple book. Speed plus 80% gladly. This is insane. Uh, this is melee attack speed. Um, it's missing a word, but our attack speed gets absolutely bonkers. Um, I love that skill. Uh, we don't need the heal, so we will go with the um, relic or elixir or whatever it's called. Pretty straightforward. What do we got here? Oh, hello, legendary. I've never seen yellow charm, so that's exciting. Yellow charm, upon dealing damage, 15% chance to receive one yellow charm from damage we deal up to a maximum of six. When we use sheath, all of our yellow charms home in on the enemy, with each one dealing 18 damage. That's a lot of damage. When we reach 100 rage, automatically consume all rage and instantly give you six yellow charms. And I can't even read the rest of it because it's, it's behind that. Let's move this for a minute. When we shoot six yellow charms in one go, trigger an elemental meltdown that deals tri-elemental ice, fire, and lightning damage to all enemies within a wide area. Um, that's insane. So if we get to six and then we sheath, it explodes for a ton of damage. What's it do in these other slots? God, I can't... Legit can't read these because of that. All right, final blow in a melee attack. Apply Exorcism Charm effect to the enemy. All damage we deal also adds thirty-five percent extra flame damage. Lasts for three seconds. Upon sheath, all enemies with Exorcism Charge take forty-two flame damage. All right. Upon flicker, drop a Disrupt Charm that explodes after one second to deal fourteen frost damage to surrounding enemies and slow their movement speed by sixty percent for two seconds. Upon sheath, it will freeze the enemy for one second. Okay. And upon dealing flying sword damage, 15% chance to shoot a divine charm at an enemy dealing 18 lightning damage upon sheath or divine charm. Chance to trigger is increased by 85%. I mean, I'm still just going to play slot one. That seems really good. Um, so we'll take that. And we attack crazy fast. So we build rage a lot quicker as well. All right. Oh, it looks like we got the wolf boy. So there's two bosses you can get. Um, seems like in basically every every area of the final bosses later on. Oops. This guy is a little bit annoying. He's gonna run again. 
again. Yep. He usually runs three times, and every now and then he'll howl. Uh, but we just do an obscene amount of damage because we got that legendary, so... It doesn't even matter. He summons wolves with his howl. That's where those guys came from. Tricolor Crystal. Upon dealing flame damage, 11% chance to trigger a frost explosion that deals 8 frost damage. Or upon dealing frost damage, 11% chance to trigger a lightning explosion. Okay. Um... I mean, we have flame damage. We'll just take this one. We have easy access to flame damage, I should say. Bladestorm. During melee attack, chance to shoot all swords to the front and cause weakness in any enemies they damage and resets the recall cooldown. Um, that is that is sweet, and I'll probably take it, although I won't... Uh, I don't sleep on Bloodthirst. I do get hit more often than I would like to admit, and uh, Bloodthirst gives you a chance to instantly heal for 5% max HP, which I do like, especially with that increased attack speed. Um, I, I don't know what the percentage chance is, it's not very high, but it can keep you healthy throughout a run. Um, but we will just go with Bladestorm here and just go crazy damage. Enemies with burning, I don't know if fire damage automatically causes burning or not, but that's that's something. But uh, this is still better, so we'll go with it, and we'll just go ahead and recycle this for 50 money. Just these souls in the upper right is your money. Alright, do I like my weapon? My weapon's okay. We could go with a random weapon and see if we can find something that is a little bit better. Healer. Uh, nope, that ain't gonna be it though. Because uh, I don't have both Blood Fungus and Bruiser, so that's irrelevant. It does give us a higher legendary relic. See, this calls them relics. Um, but the skill tree that you get at the end of a run calls them uh, elixirs. I don't know, it's really, it's really weird. Um, I usually just call them like, trinkets or relics. I think this is still better. I mean, this does increase the chance. All we're really losing is 8% sheath cooldown and a tiny bit of damage. I don't know. I don't know what the plus 3% really helps that much. Like, I don't know what the base chance is, so I don't know what 3% more really does. So we'll just stick with this one. I think that's fine. And we'll get, a, get some healing here. If we'd used our flasks, they would be back here as well. How can I tell how many charms I have put out? Because what was it? When we shoot six in one go. We get six in one go when we reach 100 rage. So that's worth noting. Just so much damage. It's absolutely ludicrous. I love it. Piggy. They're annoying if you don't dodge them, they will not be down. I did get hit by the wolf there. Yeah, the difference between um, legendaries and commons is absolutely obscene. We'll just take another sect skill here, because sect skills can be insane, obviously, when you get the legendaries. I mean, anything can be insane with legendaries, but sect skill more or less slot into any build. Whereas weapons and relics kind of want to synergize together a lot more. No idea what the heck just happened. That uh, that charm unfortunately takes up a very large chunk of the screen. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, this is really stupid. Uh, we're gonna be an absolute glass cannon if we take this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's hilarious. But plus 300% damage, which is an obscene. Minus 300% defense basically means we take true damage from everything, as far as I understand it. it does say recover defense upon losing HP, but now what we really need is. Um, some kind of life steal or evasion type effects. Um, but yeah, we're doing it. Now we hit like an absolute Mack truck. The run may end very quickly because if we get hit at all, we, uh, we get completely bodied. Oops, not like that. I took like double, double or triple damage from that hit that I normally take. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
I am unfortunately uh, not the greatest at action road legs, but we have healing. No, we don't. We'll just take another one of these and look for some some kind of life steal or something. We'll be coming up on the mini boss soon. The shop and the mini boss. We can always heal in the shop. Unfortunately, I did have to use one of my flasks already. Alright, what do we got here? Defensive. Um, more healing but takes longer? Absolutely not. All damage is increased by 25% of your bonus move speed. You get a bonus move speed. Increased defense by 2.5% for each sword carried. I don't carry my swords for very long. They shoot out automatically. So I don't think that's even going to be very good. Um, we'll just go erratic. I don't think it's particularly amazing. Oh yeah, there we go. Right. So we got the shop here. Which means the mini boss is next. Uh, randomly obtain one of the following items Golden Book, Legendary Relic, or Impossible Excalibur. That's insane. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money for it. Because we didn't go with with money. What is Ghostly Strand? I don't even know. I do need another skill. I might check Ghostly Strand. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I do have enough to heal after I do this. Oh, and we got an epic. That's great. If the, your enemy has a debuff, they gain the Doom effect that increases all damage by 35%. That's insane. Not that I need more damage, but we'll melt bosses. Automatically consume all rage and all enemies with doom take 143 true damage. Do I have any debuffs? Like, I legitimately don't know. Like, I don't know if fire and frost automatically apply one of their debuffs or not. But anyway, upon dealing damage, 15% chance to randomly cause any two of the burning, bleed, and poisoned effects to the enemy for three seconds, which is bonkers. The one we're missing is any damage you deal through burning bleed or poisoned restores 0.2% of your max HP. Every time you're healed by this effect, your defense is increased by an amount that doesn't really matter because we have basically no defense. However, I do like healing. Stun, freeze, or fear. I've never even seen fear. That's really cool. Um, through burning bleed or poisoned. I don't know if I actually cause burning with fire damage. I, I would assume I don't. But I'm not really sure. I do cause weakness, which would be a debuff. So I can do weakness, but then I lose the yellow charm up here. Where el what else can I do with this? Uh, I think yellow charm still has to be up there. We'll take this, and I will look for some source of burning, bleed, or poison. I don't think that's actually currently doing anything, though. And I'm a coward, so I'm just going to try this. You do heal after. The oh, God, it's the pig. I am the absolute worst at this one. There's like three different mini bosses you can get here. Is he going to charge again? No. It's so hard to tell. Luckily, I do about a billion damage. Unfortunately, the same can be said. For me. All right, we severed one of his heads, in case you're wondering what's going on there. And now he gets empowered. Is he going to charge again? Oops. Yep, it is. Oh, God. And that's what I mean. Like, he hits me one time and half my health is gone. Get out of there. Okay. Those things will explode and absolutely body me. So, <laughs> holy cow. I hate that guy. All right, what do we got here? Northwind Bloom. Anything that says healing on it. Uh, 11 frost damage. Nope, this is pretty bad. We'll just pass. We will distill it, and we can either get health or attack out of it, which we did heal a little bit, which is nice. Pearl glow. I don't have pearl, so we will we will recycle that as well. And another sect skill. Anything that heals me. <laughs> uh, eight percent max HP. I'll probably take. I mean, invulnerability from flicker is extended. I don't know how much it extends it, but I do know against the final pig boss. Uh, one, he's going to one-shot me anyway because I have that reduced defense and I'm not good enough at dodging all of his skills. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we could take money for the chance of having a better shop, yeah. Normally I wouldn't, but... Oh, wrong way. that guy hits me, he can also probably kill me in one or two shots. He does a lot of damage. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, spooky dungeon. Okay. Isn't there like a book monster or something in here? I've seen it before. Where is it? Uh, hello? Enemy? Did I miss the door? I'm 
so confused. Is it down here? I just came in here, right? Oh, I came in through there. Or no, I came in through the other one. It's got to be down here, right? Get caught on the body. There we go. Alright. I don't know this guy's attack patterns that well. Kill him super fast, but we did get hit there, unfortunately. You deal 275% more damage when enemy has full HP, so it's basically useless against bosses, but pretty good against everything else. I will take the increased flicker again, or this time distance, and I will take the sect. Not sure that I'm actually causing burning, so I'm not sure that I can actually heal. Oh, thank God! All right, we're gonna take this. Wait, which one's better? Chance to instantly heal for five percent, or every time you deal melee or flying sword damage, you are healed for one percent at most, one per second. Probably Leech Fang's better. All right, we'll just take Leech Fang and maybe hope for the other one. I will grab this. Again, his slash can actually be pretty powerful if you get hit by it. We're going to have to heal here. Mm. So we will start with that. Because the boss will kill me in one shot with my reduced oh, limb, tricolor crystal, fire salt peter. I mean, I'll just go ahead and look at it. Ooh, my, oh my goodness, another legendary. This is probably the most insane I've ever had a setup. All right. Final blow in melee attack deals 126 lightning damage as Thunder Slash with a 10% chance to deal double that. That's obscene. Uh, upon flicker, lightning damage is increased by 25% for one and a half seconds. Can stack up to four times when stacked up to seven up to seven times. Excuse me. Can stack up to four times, but when it's stacked up to seven times, your lightning damage is increased by 35%. That's weird. Your lightning damage has an 8% chance to trigger triple damage, and upon sheath, the trigger increase your trigger chance by 22%. I don't do a lot of lightning damage, truthfully. And then melee or flying sword attacks have a 15% chance to chain lightning, and it will deal 5x damage when your lightning chain hits only one enemy. And that increases... I mean, I think we're just going to replace uh, Saltpeter, right? If I replace Saltpeter, Tricolor is no longer useful here. Oh no, the lightning damage goes here. That's unfortunate. Upon dealing to... I mean, we'll just do this. Tricolor is basically useless now, but at least the Ghostly Strand is doing something. Alright. That seems good enough. I will be completely honest, though. If you have not seen... Um, if you've not seen the pig boss... Even without the minus 300% defense, he has some attacks that if hit you will instantly kill you. And also, if you haven't seen this, uh, I mean, you've already obviously seen this is a very gruesome game, but this, this next scene is a little bit uh, disturbing, to say the least. Just to warn you about that. We could skip this scene. But if you have a chance to see it, we'll leave it up. Spoiler alert, he's not dead. His first form is relatively easy, although every now and then I do still get hit by a stupid roll attack, which he should lead with here. Yeah, he usually goes twice. Nope, not this time. 
behind him on. I mean, we do an obscene amount of damage. Oh, we did take a hit there, unfortunately. But his first form, when we have this much damage, is super quick to kill. Now we'll move into a second form. Second form does have a pretty high chance of just insta-giving me. What does this do when I pull all six in? Oh, it does an insane amount of elemental damage, that's right. Kinda just gotta wait for this. This part's not skippable, unfortunately. I guess I can pick my swords up. Surprise! Now we gotta fight his two demons. Uh, actually dodge that for once. I will say you don't wanna kill you don't wanna kill the uh, the hand. Ouch, yeah, that's I am so bad at dodging that, it's insane. Once you kill one, you really want to kill the other, because he hits you with the arm attack after one of them is down. I don't know which one he... he's going to use his sub move, okay. That will kill you instantly if it hits you. Which we're not actually even going to see his other attacks as we attack so, so quickly for so much damage, but he does have a couple of other moves he uses that you dodge by standing in the corners. Uh, when he shoots, uh, he shoots like blood breath. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, let's look at the sect skill. Cold blood will make enemy bleed for three seconds. Okay, so there we go. So we do cause cold blood um, some percentage of the time. I think we have like 30%, right? We increase chance of cold blood, right? Did we not? I guess I'm thinking of a different run. Oh yeah, Ruthless. I thought I had Ruthless, but I guess I don't. Anyway, I will take this, because uh, if we do cause things to bleed, the bleed damage can heal us, uh, which is not irrelevant. So we will grab that. And none of those others were particularly great. All right, Blue Steel. I don't know what Endure is, Grant's Endure. I assume it's some kind of defensive ability. Upon sheath, gain invincibility for half a second. If you successfully resist damage during this period, it will cast a Whirlwind that deals 109 melee damage. Huh. I mean, that's better than tricolor. But truthfully, um, now that we have a bleed source, I'm going to put Ghostly Strand down here. And I guess I guess we'll just take Blue Steel here because tricolor's not doing a lot for us with the way we have this set up. So we'll just go with that. And we do want to distill this. Hopefully it gives us attack. Oh, I don't want to recycle. I don't want to look at it first. All damage plus 4%. Enemy with bleed takes 10% more damage. Again, I don't think that we're causing burning, so this is actually probably better. Uh, we don't have Dragon Slash, as far as I know. Um, but I think we will take that, right? Hold up. We're giving up 3% damage, but if they're bleeding... They take 10% more, which is basically all bosses, because we attack fast enough that we will eventually crit on them and get the bleed. I actually don't know if that's better. That's tough. I like the Durgan Slash, though. We'll just go Durgan Slash. It might actually be worse overall, but we do so much damage to everything else that it's probably mostly irrelevant. And thankfully, that's the end of the pigs, so we do heal and get our flasks back. The enemies in this one do have a lot more HP. I will actually take the Excalibur and hope for a decent one, which doesn't look like it is. Yeah, it is not, unfortunately. I was hoping to high roll some more. I mean, we've already high rolled a lot on this run. Wait. I have never seen this. So I did find this guy, and I was wondering what he did. So apparently it makes him appear here, which is cool. Uh, we can rank it up, whatever that means. Attribute refining. I don't know what either of these mean. Oh man, that's. I mean, I'm just gonna click rank up and see what happens. Okay, so it becomes the legendary version. Holy cow, that's great. Wait, that's totally worth it. What? Oh, I can't do it. Wait, what? That is not rank up, that is reroll rank. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. That is really unfortunate. 
I wish I knew that. I wouldn't have re-rolled it again. I thought it just actually ranked up. It happened to rank up the first time, so we got really lucky. I just made my weapon way worse. Oh my goodness. That is depressing. Alright. Well, now I know that does not actually rank up. That re-rolls the, uh, the rarity on the weapon. But it is good to know that that exists. I wonder what the attribute refining does now. Man, that is that is really depressing. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had known that. Uh, we do an obscene amount of damage, thankfully, so this area shouldn't be too hard. But these guys do have a lot more HP. Traditionally, I will take the the weapon now that I uh, borked that one up. Um. They have a lot more stuns. There's uh, invisible guys. There's a lot of a lot of crazy stuff in this area uh, that can just sneak in damage if you're not careful. Okay, well, we got lucky. <laughs> we got a legendary anyway. <laughs> All damage plus 8%, which is great. Rage gain plus 12% is absolutely obscene. Uh, range damage, sure, whatever. Enemy with bleed takes bonus damage, which we happen to have bleed, which is great. The Excalibur effect is irrelevant because we don't have Death Lotus, but hey. Uh, and I don't think Death Lotus is particularly good. We did spend all of our souls, unfortunately, so I will now go pick up as many souls as I can. Oh no, it's another special event thing. Is it the same guy? Looks like it is. It's probably stronger. I don't know his telegraphs that well. Oh god, he hit me. Alright. Uh, well, we're almost never at 100% HP, so we'll, we'll just pass on that. Uh, here we go. Evasion. One attack, 12% chance to evade that attack completely, which is great because we have no defense. So 12% chance to ignore our, our mistake. Um, probably, you know, not huge, but it helps. We're pretty good on these, so... Should be healing a little bit back. Oh, here's the invisible guys. We do heal back. Every time you do melee or flying, sword damage you're healed. It doesn't seem to be triggering that much, but we should basically every pack we should get about one percent HP back. Oh, I took a hit there. That's really bad. It does look like it's healing us. It's just very small amounts. I'm so used to having to use that to have any chance of even damaging that guy, but we could probably just kill him with auto attacks perfectly fine. As long as we don't take any hits, we'll, uh, we'll get a good amount of our HP back. Each area should give us roughly 5%. All right, let's see here. Move, uh, attack speed plus 30%, movement speed plus 10% is great. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna go with that. We have so much damage, taking more damage doesn't really make sense. And honestly, attack speed is damage, so. And movement speed is amazing. I'm not even sure if the bleed the bleed is ever even having time to trigger to heal us, but I'm sure it'll help on bosses. I never hit these things. Every now and then there's like some hidden crap in them. Very rarely though.
I just use it because they're invisible and I just want to make sure I don't take a hit. Uh, money or a boss. I'm pretty good on equipment, so we'll go money for now. These statues mark that there's invisible guys nearby, and the statues will also shoot you. I think. Unless it's the invisible guys that have hit me in the past, and I couldn't tell the difference. Again, I'm just going to push the button to make sure I don't take damage there. And then we're at the shop, which means we are pushing up on the mini-boss, I believe. I've only made it to this area like a handful of times, so I probably haven't even seen all of the mini-bosses. Ah, oh, we don't have enough for this legendary relic. Uh, Northwind, Death Lotus. Oh, we could pick up a Death Lotus, because it goes with our weapon. However, 15% chance to deal double damage on the petals is basically irrelevant. And I don't think I want it. I would just rather have the things that I have, so. I don't I don't much care for Death Lotus. It's like it's okay. Unfortunately we can't afford that. Um, so we'll just take the healing potion. And hope for the best. Have I seen this I have not seen this guy before. Bamboo C. So I don't I don't know what he does. Luckily, it's a mini boss, so he dies pretty quickly. All right, let's get sex skill, extra healing. If you take no damage for 15 seconds, you take 25% less damage the next time. That's probably really good. I don't know if it carries over between rooms, but I assume it does. It's probably better than the healing boost. Let's go with it. Because I basically can't take damage more than once anyway. Oh, uh, we're definitely not taking black powder. Especially a common, so just distill it. Wait, why did it go back into this? Oh no, I think it sold whatever that equipment was instead of distilling. Well, I hope I didn't want that equipment. Probably not, that would be fair. A uh, healing room. Now, if I stand here, does my defensive ability come back? I wonder. Or do I have to, like, actually be in combat? How long is it? 15 seconds? Okay, it does come back. Good. That's kind of what I was hoping, is basically it'll absorb the first hit of the boss for us. Which it does seem like that is the case. I don't like invisible enemies because I don't like going back to find them if I didn't kill them. Alright, good. That's everybody. Get some souls. Uh, we don't need the healing, but it's honestly not a bad idea to hedge, but I'm just going to take the money. Healing room is basically a free room, but... live on the edge anyway. Some more money. Um, I mean, at this point, money really is just the best option in case we hit a legendary in the shop.
Did I kill them? I assume I killed them all. That kind of doesn't have the same amount of damage yet. There we go. It did slow down. Okay. Looks like we're coming up on the final boss. Mechanical Rotor, Zombie Finger, Fiery Salt Peter. I don't know them all off the top of my head. I'll just open the Epic Casket and uh, see if it's one I want. Thunderstone. We already have a Thunderstone. Um, but we could stack it, right? Upon Flicker, our Lightning Damage goes up. Or our Lightning Damage has a chance to deal 2x. I don't know how much I'm actually healing off of Ghostly Strand. And the defense is negligible, so I think... Actually, I don't want Ghostly Strand there. I don't know if First Blow dealing 40% more... Oh, no. What was Endure, though? God, I don't actually know what Endure is. Does this have a Compendium? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what Endure is. 40% more damage on one attack. Or it's like every every fourth attack. It's just the first one. What is Endure? Oh no, Stun, Freeze, and Fear. I don't think those actually affect bosses. Maybe they do. But we can just go with this setup. Lightning has an 8% chance to deal double damage, and we deal a ton of lightning damage, so... Yeah. We'll just do that. And then I guess we distill this thing. Hopefully they gave us attack. I'm honestly not sure. I don't need to heal. I'm not going to pick any of them up. Alright, the last time... This is as far as I've made it. The last time I fought this boss, I got completely bodied. Because I did not know her attack pattern. She was easy to start, but she ramps up. She ramps up pretty hard. And with the complete lack of defense that we have in this build, I have a feeling we're going to get one shot by any of her abilities. They are not very forgiving timing. You are here at last. I've waited a long time for you to grace me with your presence. So she'll pop out. She's going to shoot some fire orb thingies. I just got to start. Those things eventually turn into black holes. Oh, she's doing the lightning. She's got to run. You don't need to dash or anything. You just can't. You can't stop moving. And every so much damage. I think if once she takes enough damage, she pops into the black hole, comes out, and shoots a fire orb. Like, they're pretty okay in the beginning. Eventually, she shoots multiple orbs. And now she turns her crap into black holes that I assume will kill me if I step on them. I don't honestly know. Alright, fire orbs. Okay, we can freeze her for whatever that's worth. She's over there. I can't hit her over there, so... I don't think I can attack these. She's like three now. But the last time I did this, I had the ability to kill her black holes. Oh. Wait, why did I die? Wait, were those doing damage to me? I'm super confused. The lightning struck back here, unless those orbs did damage to me, but they weren't black holes yet. And then it just popped up with the, you're safe for now, smash the throat. Okay, I think that bugged out. I could be wrong, and maybe I just missed something. So normally she pops up after the black holes are there for a while and gives you the chance to smash the black holes to clear it off the field. But it didn't pop up at all, and then I just seemingly randomly died. Very confused. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, that, I mean, part of it is the absolute lack of forgiveness because it took one hit to kill us, so that's on me as much as anything else. Um, definitely take an extra gourd. Because I absolutely need that. Okay, we'll just, we'll just plow into the uh, the survival tree there. But this has, this has been another episode of Worn Snow. If you're enjoying this, you want to see more. If there's any particular builds you want to see, make sure and leave a comment down below. Like the video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And we'll catch you in the next one.